What's going on everybody? It's Kyle here aka The Woodshed bringing you guys another Clash of Clans video and today is something very important and very special to me specifically. We are actually going to do a Clan War League um, walkthrough, an explanation essentially of what Clan War League is, why it is the most important time of every month for you, your clan, your clan mates, everybody. So we're going to get over, um, well we're going to kick it off and we're going to start off by what is Clan War League. So Clan War League is a set of wars that your clan will go through once at the start of every month. At the start of every month, you will have a set of wars. Clan War League is optional, by the way, but the vast majority of clans will want something to do with Clan War League. So what it is, it's a week straight of wars. You can see here on the very bottom that this is War 1, and it goes all the way out to War 7. What this is going to do is this is actually going to... Sorry, there's a little weird glitch right there. Um, it's going to put you in a league when your clan searches, and it's going to put you versus seven other teams. And what this does is you go against everybody. The total number of stars and destruction percent is calculated. Um, and then the top clan, or depending on what tier of clan you're in, the top two clans get promoted. So the ones that have the highest stars, if the stars are tied, it goes by destruction percent, um, get promoted. If, it's, if you're higher up in, like, Crystal, it becomes just the top one clan. Um, and you uh, get promoted to the next level. So what is Clan War League and why does what league you're in matter? What league you're in matters because it tends to attract a lot of attention. So you'll see when you look at our clan, uh, you have our little description here on the left, English-speaking clan, use your attacks, all that kind of stuff. But the first thing you see in the top right, Clan War League Crystal 1. What this does is this actually gives you Clan War League medals. Um, so what Clan War League medals are, you might be asking. If you're new to the game, you don't really understand what do those do. What they do is they actually are a certain part in your shop here. Right here, this nice big um, yellow metal is actually a raid medal. And so this is stuff you can actually buy using Clan War League medals. So based on your performance, the better your clan does, the more you get. Also, the higher league you're in, the more you get. So you can buy gold and elixir, you can buy potions. Um, most of the gold and elixir, most of the potions, not realistically worth it. Wall rings also not worth it. These are what make it important right here. The hammers. Hammer of fighting, hammer of building, hammer of spells, hammer of heroes. What these all do is they actually immediately upgrade whatever you use them on. No questions asked, no time down. Just snap and it's done. Right, so it's the coolest thing. So a hammer fighting, what it will do is you actually will use it when your laboratory is not working on something and you will immediately upgrade at one level. No research time, no nothing. Same thing with hammer of spells, but it has to be a spell. So the book of fighting is more specifically for troops, dark elixir troops, siege machines, elixir troops. The spells is for spells, dark spells. Super easy, right? Hammer of building, any building you want that you can still go within your town hall. You can't go past your town hall still, even with the clan or league medals. Um, immediately upgrades it. No downtime, the only thing it does is still requires you to have a builder. Same thing with the Hammer of Heroes. Immediately puts one level on your hero without having any downtime on your hero. Huge thing, and while you're grinding through Clash of Clans, that'll be what you end up using them the most on if your clan is high enough and you end up getting medals for it. Now, some of you may be wondering, right? How do I know how many medals I'm going to get? Like I said, it's based on what your league you're in, and this is why leagues get so attractive. So, if you actually click in the top right here, it gives you a brief description on what Battle Week is, the scoring in the leaderboard and how it works, but at the very end, on number three, it shows you the results. So it shows you based on what league you're in. If you want to, feel free to pause it, so you can actually see how much you're going to get per each one of your leagues. Bronze, silver, gold... Crystal, and it shows you what you're going to get for 1st versus 8th place. There's a little bit in between there. It should not be a big jump. Um, Masters. And then Champion. So the goal is to get the Champion. Naturally, the higher level you are, the more Raid Medals, or the, sorry, the more Clan War League Medals you're going to get. So the more Hammers you can get. Now, cool, downside of the Hammers, they have a weak cooldown. Best side to them, it's something you're going to kind of get automatically. Um, you also still do get the loot, you get um, actual clan XP during this time. Um, it's a great time to play. It's it's absolutely my favorite time of the month. Sadly enough, it's also the most stressful. 
because um, we have two clans that are doing it. Um, but it is super important that you guys make sure you hit all your attacks. I was so happy the last season we only had two missed attacks between the two clans um, here. And I was very happy to say that the Woodshed won actually gotten a promotion. The first time we finished in fifth place, the second time around in August, we absolutely steamrolled everybody. Um, and only in a 15v15, I do believe. So, I mean, it was absolutely amazing war for us. Or, amazing week for us. It was hard. Um, and you can actually even take a look at who we're playing against now, and it still looks pretty good for us. Beam seems to think that we're going to... We're not going to have any issues running people over. There are one or two clans that give me cause for pause, but uh, I do think it's going to be very good. And I hope this was helpful to you guys in any way, sort, or feel. What I'm going to do is this one's going to be a really short video, and I apologize for that. I don't have a ton of time. Um, so what we're going to do is I'm actually going to make a video next week giving you guys a recap on how the Woodshed finished up um, and how the Woodshed 2 also finished up. I know the Woodshed 2 is also... Um, mostly 12s, 11s, 10s, and 9s. That's basically everybody in Clan War League over there. Um, but I'll do a recap for both clans and post it up next week. Um, so you guys can take a look and see how we did and see if you guys want to follow along some more with how we grow. Um, as you guys saw, we've only done two Clan War Leagues. This is number three, so less than a three-month-old clan that is now encroaching on level seven. We'll probably be around level seven by the time we finish Clan War League. Man, I'm so proud of these guys, and I appreciate you guys for watching the video um you might notice something a little different about this video i didn't have my face cam on i wanted to have more room for the actual screen and uh to see if it actually looks better for you guys if it does please do me a favor let me know in the comments or if you liked having my face cam on there um and having the game play down a little bit i wanted it to be in the middle so it didn't look like you guys were missing out on anything so let me know which one of those ways you guys prefer and let me know what you guys like and dislike about clan war league do you guys really not like it and think it's super stressful? Do you guys absolutely love it because you just love warring nonstop? Um, let me know what you think in the comments below. I appreciate you guys. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one. I appreciate it, everybody.